around that 12th and last qualifying area. Oh my goodness, all right. So now we have uh, the first of our poll, Gregor Hedwig is on the course. Looking, we are going to start seeing now because it's 12 into the final, we will start seeing people go through. He's a two-time Olympian already, Hedwig, and a junior world champion from way back, Brody, in 2006. Yeah, junior world champion. Wow, coming coming close to two decades up there uh, yep. the international circuit. Yep. It's impressive. And still capable on his day of putting down a yeah. pretty, pretty decent run. So, yeah, for ooh, sure. A little bit of trouble there for him, over the pole. No, he's no stranger to finals, Hedwig. We see him in a few. And, um, yeah, he can, uh, he can lay down some serious speed on his day. So, looking so far, so good so far. A little, a little down. I'm not sure about the touch on one, but wait to see what the judges have to say about that. So we are reviewing it as they do for any of the touches here and any of the 50 second penalties. They will go back and make sure that the judges pick. Oh, there's definitely a touch there on gate 12. Just brushed it with his back. Yeah. Oh, and another one. About to say, he's still very well in touch, but those two touches are going to hurt that split. Yeah, yep. four seconds is, is hard to make up for Hedwig. But at the bottom of the course, you can, if you want to, if you want to take the risk, there's some moves, as Brody has said, there's some moves you can do here. This one, for example, that you can really, if you nail it, yep. you can pick up some time. But and this last move for sure, and that's pretty good. And gate one has been confirmed now as well, Brody. So that's six seconds in penalties. That's that's too much. Yeah. Unfortunately for Gregor, Gregor Hedwig, his day is over. But what it means is that uh, Rafi Avaldi from Italy is our first man into the final.